Ah, uh, yes, uh, greetings and happy new years. Uh, salutations. Uh, after eight hours of training on some of the advanced features of Capture One Professional, which I spent a few hundred dollars on, uh, <laughs> my brain is officially fried. Um, I was using uh, some videos and also this book which I purchased. It's called A Photographer's Guide to Capture One 11, even though I am using Capture One 12. I think I uh, stopped somewhere around page 200 and something. This is a, uh, a big book, to nearly 500 pages. There we go, exit of that. These are some uh, shots that I took uh, about a month or a month and a half ago. These are all GFX shots. This is uh, from uh, Shaker Village. Yes, indeedy. And uh, yeah, yep, yep, yep. There's uh, What's Her Face, which I can't remember. Yeah, I'm always only messing with this one. Yep, um, I've actually enjoyed uh, find uh, the straightforwardness and layout. Of course, there's no replacement for Photoshop, but uh, I'm not always incredibly keen on learning in-depth, complex applications. But this one's really very simple. This is also a GFX uh, shot from the GFX uh, 50s. You can actually count every stitch on her glove. This GFX 50. Yeah, this is actually with the uh, 250 millimeter uh, F4. Is that I use the 250 millimeter? Yeah, 250 millimeter GFX F4 with this particular. But, uh, yep. Yep. Little crop. And. Shadows. Yeah, there we go. Too far. But anyway, bring up a clipping, clipping highlight. But yeah, just just messing with uh, some of these shots. Crop that. It's a bad crop actually. Just just messing with uh, some of the shots. But I've. Uh, Everybody keeps asking me what I think about uh, Capture One Professional, and uh, actually, uh, I uh, I like it a lot. It's very simple and straightforward. I've only got about uh, about thirty hours about thirty hours of training on Capture One. I'm just so used to using Lightroom and Photoshop, but uh, definitely the output uh, is a lot better. Um, so using uh, editing as some lossless raw compressed files from my GFX 50s. I remember taking this shot. My buddy actually came down from New Jersey. Uh, John, I'm not going to give his last name. Little horsies are foaming at the mouth. Of course, it was really cold that day. I remember freezing my bleeping ass off that day. Let's bring up those shadows a little bit. Yep, a little bit of saturation. Yep. Tent. No. No. A little bit of sharpening. Go back and forth. Back and forth. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I digress. So, uh, happy New Year. I'm sorry, my brain is slightly fried. I guess this video was not informational. Everybody's gonna downvote it and tell me how much they hated it. It's okay. Um, but, uh, Shaker Village is a great place to take uh, photographs. I remember even when I was in photography school in 1991, and that was in Daytona Beach, Florida. There was a guy that uh, came in, was, uh, was actually a very famous photographer at the time. However, it must not have been that famous because I guess I can't remember his name. And I remember that was in Florida, and he was showing us uh, pictures of uh, Shaker Village and. Uh, I was like, you know, that's only like 15 miles from my home. Here we are a thousand miles away, and he's showing us his beloved pictures of Shaker Village. I can tell you one thing for certain. The GFX cameras, both of them, and I have both of them, are tougher than woodpecker lips. They are tough as nails. God, I love the camera, the dynamic range. Hot! Just, just that's it.
hot. Kind of like the chick that's riding this horse. Happy New Year, and yes, for the countless thousands of people keep asking me over and over and over again, yes, I absolutely love Capture One Professional. I'm enjoying it greatly. However, I must be getting old because I don't like learning uh, complex new software applications. But uh, yeah, because I'm so busy. But anyway, Happy New Year.